So let's jump back to number 14. Um, some people get confused. It's really, uh, it's really simple. When you're adding or subtracting fractions, you need a common denominator. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is not even a fraction. Well, you can make it look like a fraction, put it over one. You can make it look like a fraction, put it over one. So if you have the denominator one, one, and x plus four, what is your LCD gonna be? X plus four, right? Okay, I mean, technically you could still go through the motions and say, could I factor anything? No, I can't factor anything. So let me write down what's in common in all the terms. Well, there is nothing in common in all the terms, so I bring down the rest. So your LCD will be everything brought down, which is one times one times x plus four. So what does that mean? That your LCD is really just x plus four. Your LCD is really just x plus four, because the one times one doesn't change anything. So you need every one of your fractions to change to an x plus four. So we have one fraction, minus another fraction, minus another fraction. This one's pretty interesting also because we have minuses instead of pluses. So our denominator will be the LCD, which is x plus 4, okay? x plus 4. So how do you change the 1 on the original one to a x plus 4? Well, ob obviously you're going to multiply both top and bottom by x plus 4. So you're going to have to distribute... 2x times x, that will be 2x squared. And then 2x times 4, that's going to be a positive 8x. Okay? And now, uh, you're going to do the same to this middle one. You want to change it to an x plus 4. It was originally a 1. How are you going to change it to an x plus 4? By multiplying both top and bottom by x plus 4. So you're going to have to distribute 5 times x. That will give you a 5x. And then 5 times 4, that'll give you a 20, okay? And last but not least, what do you do to this x plus 4 to make it an x plus 4? You don't do anything, so you don't have to do anything to the top one. You just bring that down, x minus 8, okay? Now, I have three fractions, and they all have a common denominator now, which means I could combine all the numerators. My answer will be over the common denominator x plus 4. So let's start uh, combining like terms. However... Notice that there's a minus sign, not a plus sign. So right here, I do need to distribute. Okay, so this minus sign, I need to put it in front of the 5, and that'll be a negative 5x, and in front of the 20, that'll be a negative 20. Okay, same thing over here. This minus sign, I need to put it in front of the x, it's going to be a negative x, in front of the negative 8, which will make it a positive 8. And now we could combine like terms. So let's start with the highest exponent term, the uh, 2x squared. There's nothing else to combine it with. There are no other x squared, so let me just bring that down, 2x squared. Then we move on to our x values. Well, we have an 8x, we have a negative 5x, that's 3x, and then minus another x, that'll be 2x. So that'll be a positive 2x, positive 2x. And last but not least, we're going to combine the uh, negative 20 with the positive 8, and that'll give you a negative 12. So, um, this looks like our answer, but we need to try and continue factoring. Now, I do have a 2, 2, and 12. They're all even numbers. I could pull out a 2 from the top, and I'll have an x squared plus 1x minus 6, okay? Now, it's still over x plus 4. Now, when I look at this answer... I see a quadratic trinomial that could be factored further. So the 2 on the outside stays, but the inside quadratic trinomial is going to change to what times what is negative 6? That if you add together is positive 1, that would be a positive 3 and a negative 2. Now, unfortunately, we don't have an x minus 2 on the bottom. We have an x plus 4 on the bottom. But it's still necessary to factor so you could see and verify if there's anything else that could cancel. But nothing else cancels, so that's your final answer in factored form. So let's flip this paper over and start on the back side of this worksheet. So on this one, we have two fractions that we're subtracting. The only way you could subtract or add fractions is if you have a common denominator, an LCD. Now, here are the steps to finding the LCD. Step one, completely factor the denominators. 
So let's uh, look at the first denominator and let's factor what we can, which is a 2. And if we pull out a 2, we're going to have an x minus 6 left over. And in the second denominator, that's a quadratic trinomial that we should be able to factor with an x here and an x there, simply thinking what times what is the c value, negative 12, that if I combine together is my b value, negative 4. And if you think about that, it's going to be negative 6 times positive 2. That'll give you a negative 12. And if you add them together, it does give you the negative 4 in the middle. So step 1 was to completely factor the denominators. Step 2, circle what's in common in both and write it down once. Keyword once, all right? So let's circle what's in common in both. So if we look at the first group and, or the first denominator and circle what's in common in the first and second, there's the binomial x minus 6 right there and the binomial x minus 6 right there. And I'm going to write it down once. Okay, and if we take a look at the steps again, it says circle what's in common in both and write it down once, I already did that, then bring down the rest. I need to bring down the rest. Now what do I mean by the rest? I'm talking about this 2, I'm going to bring it down. The x plus 2, I'm going to bring it down. Whoops. X plus 2. And ladies and gentlemen, I put it all together with multiplication, and this is my LCD, my least common denominator. So now that I have found my LCD, now I could modify both fractions and rewrite both of these fractions with the subtraction between them with the LCD that I have now, okay? So there are my two fractions with the new LCD on both denominators. So what I need to do is go back. So since I already, since I already uh, found the LCD, I don't really need this right here anymore. So just put a line through it. But I need to go back to my original denominators and say, how am I going to change this denominator to the LCD that I have? Well, let's ask ourselves, what is different between this denominator 2 times x minus 6 and the 2 times x minus 6 times x plus 2. It's obviously missing the x plus 2. So I need to multiply both top and bottom by x plus 2. I'm not really even going to multiply in the bottom by x plus 2. I, I just write it there, but I need to do the math up here, multiplying it by x plus 2. So x plus 2 up there. Now since we are multiplying the 5 by x plus 2, I need to distribute 5 times x. That will be 5x as my numerator. 5 times 2, that'll be positive 10 up on the numerator, okay? Now, the other denominator, we have originally a x minus 6 times x plus 2, and now our new LCD is x minus 6 times x plus 2, but times the 2, right? The original is only the binomial times the binomial. The LCD has an extra 2, so obviously I need to multiply both top and bottom by what? By 2. So up on top, I'm going to get... 40. So now that we have a common denominator, we could actually subtract the top with the top. So um, my, I know that my answer, my answer is going to have that LCD. So I might as well say my answer is going to be the fraction with the LCD. And now all we have to do is actually subtract the top with the top. And that's pretty easy because it's a monomial, it's just a number. So uh, the 5x, you can't add it with anything else, so I'm just going to write that down as the first part of my answer, 5x. And the second part of my answer is combining the positive 10 with the uh, minus 40, right, with the minus 40. So positive 10 minus 40, that's minus 30, okay? Now, that's my answer. However, we're supposed to always try to continue factoring, and on the top, you have 5x minus 30. You could actually factor out a 5. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's left over. And on the inside, we have x minus 6 if we pull out the 5, which we did. And on the bottom, we still have that LCD. And as we look at this new answer, we see that we have an x minus 6 on top and a binomial x minus 6 on the bottom also, which means we could actually cancel those out. So our final answer will be 5 on top, 2 times x plus 2 on the bottom. That's your final answer right there. 5 on top, 2 times x minus, or 2 times x plus 2 on the bottom. 
Number 20, step one, completely factor the denominators. So instead of that quadratic trinomial, we think what times what is six, that if we combine together is negative five, that's a negative three times a negative two. That'll give you a positive six. If you add it together, it does give you a negative five. And the other one is also a quadratic. Put a P right there, a P right there. What times what is negative nine, that if you combine together is nothing, well, that would be a positive three and a negative three. So we have step one done, which is both denominators factored. After that, we want to find our LCD by circling what's in common in both. So we have a P minus three right there and a P, whoa, and a P minus three right there. Sorry about that, I almost circled the wrong one. So we're gonna circle it and write it once. So we're gonna write down the P minus three as the first part of our LCD. And what do we do with the rest? We simply bring it down. I'm going to bring down this P minus 2. And I'm also going to bring down this P plus 3. And this is technically our LCD, our least common denominator that we're going to use to rewrite our fractions. So we know that that's the LCD. So I'm going to rewrite both fractions, this first one minus the second one. But instead of the original denominators that we have down here, I'm going to rewrite it as the LCD. Then, of course, we have to ask ourselves, what do we do to the original one to modify it to make it look like this new uh, LCD? Well, you have the P minus 3 right there. You have the P minus 2 right there. The P plus 3 is missing. So what I need to do is multiply both top and bottom by P plus 3. You're not actually going to multiply it on the bottom, but on the top you do P plus 3. Now, the top is very interesting. Let's actually zoom in on that because we have a binomial times a binomial, so there's work to do here. P times 2P is 2P squared. P times negative 3 is negative 3P. And then we have the positive 3 times positive 2P, that's positive 6P. Then we have the 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9. And if we combine these two middle terms, we're going to end up with the positive 3p. So up on the numerator, we're going to end up with 2p squared plus 3p. Whoops, let me see. Minus 9. So let me write that down there on my numerator for my fraction. 2p squared plus 3p minus 9. I'm going to write that right here. And the other fraction, if I look at the original denominator, compare it with the new LCD, the P plus 3 is there, the P minus 3 is there, the P minus 2 is missing. So I want to multiply both top and bottom by P minus 2. And of course, when I multiply the top by P minus 2, I need to distribute the 5, and that'll give me 5P minus 10. So now we could actually focus in on these two fractions that have the LCD already there, and my answer will be the fraction with that LCD as a denominator. So now it's just a question of adding like terms up on top. However, because we have a minus sign, this is very important, and because this is a binomial over here, we need to distribute that minus sign. That minus sign is going to belong right in front of the 5p, so that's a negative 5p, and the minus 10 becomes a positive 10. So that minus sign changes the signs of the binomial on the numerator on the right fraction. So let's start combining like terms here. Uh, let's go with the highest exponent term, 2p squared. You just bring that down, 2p squared. Let's go to the next uh, highest exponent term, 3p plus negative 5p, right? That's going to be a negative 2p. And last but not least, the negative 9 plus 10, that's plus 1. And if you check your answer on the answer sheet, that's your final answer. You cannot continue factoring the top. If you could, you would and cancel, but you can't. So that's it.